Hi. There is a, a theme that runs throughout the Bible. It's literally from Genesis all the way to Revelation. You find it in virtually every book of the Bible. And this theme is that there are two ways to approach God, two ways that you can try to get close to God and, and try to attain a standing of righteousness before God and closeness to God. And uh, one of these ways works, one of these ways does not. And the Bible pretty much tells us uh, very, very clearly which way is the correct way, which way is acceptable to God. Uh, and in Genesis uh, chapter 15, verse 6, we find one of the ways mentioned, and this is speaking about a man named Abraham. He was called the father of Israel, the father of the faith. And God had made a promise to this man, Abraham, that he would be the father of a multitude of children. And that was an amazing promise because uh, Abraham was childless, he was elderly, his wife was elderly and barren. They had never had children. God made a promise to Abraham and his wife, Sarah, that they would be the, the father and mother of a multitude of children. And it had to be a, a supernatural promise of God, a miraculous promise of God. Uh, because they were, they were barren and childless. And so it says in Genesis 15, 6, that after this promise, it said that Abraham uh, believed God, he believed in the Lord, and God accounted it to him for righteousness. So what this says, the moment Abraham believed that miraculous promise of God, that, that God credited it to him as righteousness. Abraham was called righteous instantly, not because he had followed any rules, any commandments, done any good works, but simply because he believed God's word and God's promise. And this is in the very beginning of, of the Bible, the book of Genesis, and there's a key here, there's a revelation that this is how one becomes righteous before God, is, you, is by faith, you believe God's word and God's promises. Later on in the Bible, God raised up a man named Moses, who was a, a prophet uh, in Israel. And through Moses, God gave what we know as the Ten Commandments and many other laws and rules and statutes that God gave to his people at that time. And uh, the key verse here is Leviticus 18.5, where God said uh, th to Israel through Moses, You shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man does, he shall live by them. I am the Lord. And this was God saying, here's my commandments, here's my laws. If you keep all of my commandments perfectly, if you keep all of my laws perfectly, you will live. And, and, and it seems that God set up a second way of trying to attain righteousness before him, which was the way of following his commandments and his laws. And uh, the Bible reveals to us in uh, many, many passages that the, the way of law simply does not work. Mankind was a fallen race, separated from God, infected by sin, incapable of living righteously and morally, um, just simply by nature. And so God gave his commandments and his rules as a way of exposing to mankind, we need a savior, we desperately need a savior, we cannot uh, attain this standard of righteousness and morality on our own. Uh, and so God presented these two men, Abraham and Moses, as each as a symbol. Each one of them is a symbol of one way to approach God. Abraham approached God based on faith that he believed God's promise. Moses was used as a symbol of approaching God based on commandments and laws and rules that if we follow them, we will attain righteousness. And uh, what's very interesting is the Bible reveals clearly, clearly that one way works, one way does not work. It says that when Abraham believed God, he was counted as righteous instantly. He believed God before the Ten Commandments were ever given, before the laws were ever given. Abraham uh, was given first as this symbol. And so we know that Abraham really is God's example of how to become righteous before him. Believe his word, believe his promises, believe in his Messiah, Jesus Christ, and you are counted righteousness. What God said through Moses is, if you obey all these things, then you will live. And there was always that condition of of uh, implied perfection, perfection of performance, and, uh, and it did not work. What, uh, what the law of Moses reveals to us is that we need a savior, and what the Bible reveals is that Jesus is that savior, and that if a man or a woman believes in him, they are instantly counted as righteous before God. So take this, this truth that uh, God's word reveals to you and turn it into a prayer of faith right now, and say, God, I do not try to establish my own righteousness through performance or through keeping commandments or laws because I need a savior. I believe as Abraham believed. I believe in your promise of eternal life for those who receive Jesus Christ. Jesus, I receive you, I believe in you, 
and in this moment, I am counted as righteous before you by faith. Amen. Mm -hmm.